Yo, what's up guys? This is What A Funk Stories, episode 20. And on this episode, I'm gonna teach you guys how to sew with the sewing machine. This is a beginner's tutorial. If you don't know what you're doing, you just got your sewing machine, you wanna know how to get right into it, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do it my style. It might not be the correct way or the proper way, but this is our style. So, hope you guys enjoy the video, learn something, and um, like and subscribe. And also, send us something that you make so we can see what you guys made. You just got your sewing machine. We got this right here. We got the Brother LX2375. And you can just go grab your a sewing machine from any uh, arts and crafts store or whatever. $200 or less. So you unboxed it. Here it is. Yours won't have these cool stickers yet because uh, unless you do have some what funk stickers, you can throw them on there. So it's going to come with this right here. This is the foot pedal, aka the gas. So. This is how you gas up the machine, get it going. So, this is the power cord right here. You got your machine right here. Simple. Plug your power cord in. And you're ready to go. Foot pedal on the floor. And you're set. You got your thread. You got your bobbin. And I'm going to teach you how to set up the thread on your bobbin. Put your thread right on here and then you follow the thread along and there's a diagram over here that shows you where to put your thread. You put it under here and you pull it through and then you go this way. So under and over and right on that. So there we go. Now we have our thread right here and there's a little hole on the bobbin. We put the thread through the little hole, pull the thread up so you have a good grip on it like that. Push the bobbin in and then you have to lock the bobbin in. There we go. Once it's locked in, it's ready to be filled with the thread. Now that you've got your thread, you just hold onto it right here, press the gas pedal. Now, you'll know when your bobbin's full because it'll start locking up and stopping. So now you just pop it open, unlock it, Lift it up and then snip the thread and there you go, you have a threaded bobbin. If you need to know more, just go back and watch the video a couple times and you'll know exactly what you need to do. It's about trial and error, so you'll learn it as you keep playing around and trying. Each machine's different, so your, your um, thread might be going a different way or whatever, but there you go. We thread the bobbin, now we need to put the needle in the machine. So you got your sewing needle and now we're going to load up to the machine and there's a flat side there's all round and then there's one flat side and the flat side goes to the back and you'll see you'll know because it has a hole right there so now we're gonna put the needle right here and you just put it up in the hole and while you're doing that hold it up there screw this in right there tighten it up and now it's tightened needles tightened there you go. So now we're going to put the thread on the needle. So put this right here and we're going to follow it right here. And there'll be another diagram that'll show you where the thread needs to go. There's a little thing right here where it needs to go underneath of. So you put it underneath here and then just like that you're in. There we go. So now you're in there and I'm going to show you what to do. This is the tricky part. Pull the thread down and we pull it underneath this circle right here and we pull it back up and then there's a hook that it needs to go through on this side so you swirl it through that side and make it go around the hook like that if you're having trouble with this just rewatch this video a couple times and then you'll get it here I'll show you guys again recap thread underneath through here underneath this circle right here back up through this hook coming down this way. And then you have your thread right here. And now we're about to put it through the needle. Okay, so now that it's coming down through there, you gotta just put it through the hole from forward to back. So put it right in there. And if you're having trouble, you go lick it, pull it towards the back. And now you got it on your needle. And then you just put it underneath the footing. So you put it right underneath there. And there you go. Now you got it on your needle and you're ready to go on that way.
Now that you got your bobbin filled or thread, this is how it's going to happen. Take apart this bottom part of the machine. Open this little hatch up, and then we have this right here. This is what the bobbin goes into, okay? So you got your bobbin right here. You take this off here. It just has a little clip on here. This little clip right here, and then you just pull it open like that. Okay, so now you got that. You put the bobbin with the thread facing this way, where this is facing this way too. So you go in there, and there's a little slit right here. You pull the thread in the slit, and you push it through right there. And now, your bobbin is in the wheel. We're gonna put the bobbin back in the machine. Just leave the thread hanging like that. And you push the wheel in with the bobbin, and that, just like that, it clicks in. And you just leave the thread right there. It doesn't matter for right now. And then we close the hatch, piece out bobbin, put the latch back on, and I'm gonna show you what to do next. The bobbin's in, the needle's threaded, now you're just gonna hold the thread and then you're gonna turn the wheel on your right hand side. Just turn the wheel and get the needle going down manually. This is how you use, make the needle go up and down manually, right here. So you just turn the wheel and then holding your thread, turn the wheel just like that and now it's gonna pick up the bobbin thread underneath. And then you just grab a little knife, uh, scissor and you grab both threads. Now you got the thread on the bottom and then on the top. So now you just pull them and then you're set. If you've seen us film other vlogs before, you've seen us do this. So we're just gonna, this is our label right here, one of our labels. We have a bunch of different kinds and we're gonna pin it right now. So you just pin it through the middle, pop it through and there we go. That's it, just like that. Now we got the label pinned on. We're just gonna put it inside right here. Put the foot down. So you gotta put the foot down with this right here and it locks in like that. So just like that and it, and it goes down, boom. So to get it started, you have to back sew. So first you front sew, hit the gas pedal a little bit, very slightly. Boom, boom. Let it go a little bit, and now you hold this down to let it back so to lock it in. So you gotta hit that, let it go over the edge, and now you're locked in. I usually do two, one or two. Now we're locked in, now you let go of that, and now it's just regular sewing. You hold your material like this, and use your sewing machine. You gotta tap it very slightly and really easy if you wanna, um, if you're just learning how to use your pedal. Don't go jamming on it, it's, it'll go crazy. So really slowly, you hold your material, go slow, just little taps, and there we go. This is sewing. And when I get to the corner, I usually back sew, just like this, and then I hit it again, and then I lock in, and then if you need to manually go back down, you just turn this like that and you're locked in. Now we spin the shirt around. Make sure you put your pedal down. You lift your pedal up when you're spinning things around. Put it back down when you're ready to sew again. Nice and slow. And then one more. Sometimes if you wanna, you know, really navigate it, use the manual and then we go back, lock it in, do a little manual and then we're gonna do the other side. And if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll try and answer everybody's questions, help you guys out. Um, like I said, not a professional, self-taught, just like you're gonna be. So I'll help you out and then hopefully you can make cool stuff too. Once you get more comfortable, you can start using the pedal quicker. And see, now we hit the back stitch again. And let it back sew. And now we're in. And if it's going a little too fast, just use the manual, manual wheel, and then that'll help you out, get more control, more feel of what you need to do. You lift it up when you're spinning around, and you put it down when, you, when you're ready to sew again. Don't forget that. Now we're just sewing, sewing, sewing. 
And then I like to do at the end, do a couple more back. And then click it in, one. Lift up the foot when you're done. And then we pull the shirt out. And voila, there we go. Now we have a label sewn on a shirt. Snip it, take off the pin, cut the extra threads off. And there we go guys, now we have a label sewn into a shirt. It ain't going nowhere ever. So there we go. That's how you guys sew. And now you got your extra thread. If you want to do it again, you know, just pull a little bit out. Make sure you always leave a little bit so it doesn't suck itself back in. And there you go. Now you're ready to sew another shirt. Those are the basics on how to sew just starting out. Those are the simple basics that you need to know just to start stitching a couple things together. You know, after you get a few things, you'll start understanding more of the other mechanics in the uh, machine thread, uh, spacing, stuff like that. But for now, those are the basics. If you want to learn more stuff like that, I suggest just checking out other videos. I just want to show you guys a little about the basics of sewing. If you have any questions about anything, just hit me up. Let me know in the comments. Like I said, not professional, self-taught. So self-taught the same way you're going to be. You know, I, I started teaching myself before I was watching any YouTube videos or anything like that. So this is just how we do it. You got any tips for me? Let me know. If you got any questions or comments about how to do it, let me know also. And if you like the video, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing more stuff like this and more stuff like, you know, clothing wise. Like the video, subscribe. I appreciate all your guys' support. I hope you guys love the video. Go check out whatafunk.net. You'll see more of our stuff on there. And thanks guys, I appreciate all the support. Peace.